To start writing SQL using MySQL, you have to install both MySQL and MySQL Workbench and then connect the two. Alice Zhao here from Maven Analytics, and in this video, I'll be walking step-by-step -step through how to do this on a PC. To install MySQL on a PC, the first step is to go to this website to download MySQL Community Server, which is the open source version of MySQL. And then once you go to that website, you'll see two drop-down options. First, you'll need to select your version, and the latest version at the moment is 9.1.0, but keep in mind that versions are constantly changing. So just make sure that you pick the latest one. And then next, you wanna select your operating system. So you can select Microsoft Windows. And then once you do that, on the bottom, you'll see this Windows MSI installer. And to the right, you'll see a blue download button and you can click on that. And that will direct you to this other website, which has a login button and a sign up button. But you can just ignore both those buttons and click, no thanks, just start my download. Once you do that, you'll see this .msi file in your downloads folder. And if you double click on that, that will open up the installer for you. Now you have the option of what type of installation to do. You can just choose typical for a standard installation process. And from here, you can just select all the defaults going forward and keep on clicking next. And at the end of that, you should see this window and there's gonna be a checkbox next to the text, run MySQL configurator. You wanna make sure that that's checked and click finish. Once you do that, you're gonna get another pop-up and that pop-up is gonna ask you to enter in a password. You're gonna to wanna to pick a password that you can remember and you wanna note it down because we're gonna need it in a few more steps from here when we're getting started with MySQL Workbench. Now after that, you can just keep on clicking next until you finish the installation. All right, so we just went through all these steps here. At this point, you can pause the video and go through the installation steps on your own. Or if you'd like to see this in a bit more detail, you can watch the demo after this as well. First, we're gonna go to the MySQL website. And then once you get here, you're gonna see two dropdown options. For the version, you can choose 9.1.0 or whatever the latest version is. And then for operating system, you can select Microsoft Windows, and then you can choose the MSI installer and click the download button to the right of that. Then you'll get to this screen where you see a login and a sign up button, but you can just ignore both of those and say, no thanks, just start my download. And that should download the installer onto your computer. Now, once that's finished downloading, you can click the file button to open up the file browser. And in your downloads folder, you should see this .msi file. So you can double click on that and that will open the installer for you. Hope you're enjoying this video. Just wanted to pop in and make sure you don't miss out on Maven Analytics free January Jumpstart event. From January 5th to January 16th, you can take advantage of two of our most popular learning paths completely free. That's our generative AI essentials path and our data career roadmap path. You can take your data and AI skills to the next level. Registration is open for live events and you'll get free access to all of these courses. You can get all the details at the link in the description and I hope to see you there. All right, let's get back to the video. Now with this installer, we're just gonna click next and then check that we accept these conditions. Next again, and then we're gonna choose a typical install. And then once we click install, that will take some time to install MySQL on our computer. And from here, you wanna make sure that this checkbox is checked, then you can click finish, and that's going to open up the MySQL configurator for you. Now at the bottom, you can see that MySQL configurator has opened up. And if you click on that icon, then we are in the SQL configurator. So we're gonna click next here, and then next again, and then just next again and accept all the defaults. And now at this point, we have to enter in a password. So you can put in a password here that you're gonna note down for a later step. And once we do that, we can click next, and next again, next again, next. And then finally, you can click execute, and that will apply all the configurations we just set up. Now this is gonna take a while, but once you see all the checkboxes, that means that MySQL has been installed on your computer. And then from here, you can click next and finish. Once you install MySQL, the next step is to install MySQL Workbench. Hey there, if you're enjoying this tutorial, just so you know, it's actually a part of my full 13 hour advanced SQL querying course at Maven Analytics. So if you want more hands-on practice and full length lessons, check out the link in the description below. All right, now let's get back to the tutorial. So for this, you're gonna go to a different website to download MySQL Workbench. And once you get to that website, you'll have the option to select an operating system and you can choose Microsoft Windows. And then from there, 
If you go to the bottom, you'll see this Windows MSI installer. And to the right of that, you'll see a blue download button. And if you click on that, that will take you to this new web page where you can log in or sign up. But you can just click, no thanks, just at my download. And once you do that, that will download this .msi file into your downloads folder. And if you double click on that, that will open up the setup wizard. And you can just keep clicking next and accept all the defaults. And then at the end, once you click finish, you'll have installed MySQL Workbench. So again, here are all the steps that we just went through. At this point, you can pause the video to do this on your own, or I'll be going through a demo that walks through all these steps in a lot more detail. The first thing we're gonna do is go to the MySQL website, and we're gonna be in the Workbench section this time. For Operating System, we're gonna select Microsoft Windows. And then if we go down here to MSI Installer, we can click the Download button. Now again, we're gonna click No Thanks, Just Start My Download on this web page. And then once that downloads, we can click the File button to open up the file browser. Now we see this new MSI file. I'm gonna double click on that to open it up to begin the installation. Now from here, we're just gonna click Next, and Next again, Next again, and again, and that's gonna install MySQL Workbench for us. Now when we get this pop-up, we can just click Finish, and MySQL Workbench is now installed on our computer. And if you click on the MySQL Workbench icon, then this is what the application looks like. And now at this point, you've successfully installed MySQL and MySQL Workbench. If you're looking for more ways to level up your SQL skills, check out our self-paced courses, guided projects, and portfolio showcase at Maven Analytics, and create your personalized learning plan for free. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more data content just like this. See you in the next one.